Welcome, I'm Bill Courtright, and welcome to BillCourtright.com, and this is my blog for the week. We're gonna continue our talk on the stress response, and I really wanna get people to understand how it affects every aspect of your life. The reason I wrote the new book was because over these last five years in testing over 5,000 patients, I kind of started to see a pattern. Not only how the mismanaged stress response affects our health, but how it affected our nervous system. I realized that when we don't manage the stress response, and remember, as I said in earlier blogs, you can't shut the response off. If you're not managing this response, it's all comes and boils down, it comes down to how our nervous system is working. When the stress response goes off, the sympathetic nervous system turns on. We call this the red zone. When this red zone turns on, a lot of things happen to us physiologically. Number one, our blood flow will go all to our limbs. We're preparing to run and get out. Number two, what happens is the part of the brain called the prefrontal cortex shuts down because this is the part of the brain for reasoning. You don't need to reason when there's an emergency, you need to react. Number three, the digestive system shuts down. The reason it shuts down is we need the blood flow to go to the legs so we can escape. Number four, the hormones, reproductive hormones are shut off. When you're in an emergency, there's no reason to reproduce, right? So those hormones are shut down, okay? Number five, very important, your immune system is shut down. We're not worried about not catching a cold. We're in an emergency state. This red zone is a reactive zone, and three things happen. When the red zone turns on, the first thing that happens is usually we freeze. Think of the deer. They freeze. And then you react. You're either going to fight or you're going to flight. That's what happens in the red zone. So what happens in the red zone, as you can see, it's not very healthy. That's when the stress response is activated. But here's how it's supposed to work. There's the opposing part of the nervous system called the green zone, the parasympathetic nervous system. It's in this part of the nervous system where we have wellness. It's where we have healthy digestion, our immune system is strong, our hormones, our body's recuperating. It's also in this part of the nervous system where your body, where, where we make good decisions. It's where we're responsive. It's where we come up with great ideas and we're creative. So how is this survival mechanism designed to work? Well, let's go back to prehistoric times. We see the saber-toothed tiger. The red zone turns on. Immediately, everything else shuts off. We're getting ready to react. So we take off and we run. And once we get away from the tiger and we're now safe, the red zone shuts off and the green zone turns on. In the red zone, we escaped. In the green zone, we discovered fire. We created the wheel. We created tribes. We, we created our whole society. See, that's how the stress response is supposed to work. Here's the challenge. We weren't born to live in a world of traffic and 24-hour news and social media. We never shut off the red zone. And it was very interesting, especially my age group, when you hit your mid-40s at 45, and in, in the book, The Stress Response Diet, we talk about the cycles of health. It's the third cycle of health. What happens is the body doesn't handle stress the same way anymore, and people get locked into the red zone. That's why you hit your 50s, all of a sudden the blood pressure goes up. All of a sudden you have trouble with sugar, your cholesterol rises, the body gets down, you get tired. Why? Because it's not switching back into the green zone. Understand the stress response does not shut off. The first line of defense is you gotta eat right for your physiology. In the stress response diet, in the new book, you can go to an easy website called EliteFitForever.com and you go take an evaluator and you can find out what type of metabolism you have. And we'll talk about that in, in future blogs. But you've got to eat according to how your body works. The number two line of defense is exercise. And here's the thing, exercise is stress. Your body doesn't know if it's in a spinning class or being chased from a pack of wolves. You need to know what type of physiology you have so you exercise so you don't put yourself in the red zone. Exercise should put us in the green zone. 
And then number three, mindfulness exercises. It's very important to understand techniques like journaling, techniques like tapping, techniques like, you know, uh, uh, meditations and things. So this is how you build a lifestyle of wellness. It all comes down to number one, number one, managing the stress response. So today we learned a little bit about the red zone, green zone. Our books, we actually have, my team at court, right? We actually got books and systems to teach you how to live in the green zone that will be coming out very shortly. So please follow our blogs, follow our mailing list, and I promise you that we're gonna be getting more information out for you and more programs. Again, living in the green zone, I have a free, preview of everything that we're creating on the website you just go to www.billcourtright.com and log on for the free ebook and you'll learn a little bit about living in a green zone thank you and have a great week